So here's the uh, classic example. Um, the first thing you got to do is identify these binomials. In this case, it looks like x squared plus 1. And you got to think, which one does it most resemble? Does it most resemble, for example, um, let me go with a different color here. Does, it, does x squared plus 1 most resemble 1 minus a cosine squared of x? Or does it most resemble a secant squared of x minus 1? Or does it most resemble a 1 plus a tangent squared of x? There aren't that many. There's only a few of them in the identity sheet. So if you can make one of, if you can identify one of them that resembles that one, it might give you an idea as to what kind of substitution might work here. Because both of these are positive, it discards these as, as good choices, maybe. Uh, you might try this choice here and say, you know what, maybe this substitution will work. x squared plus 1, I would like for that to be tangent squared theta plus 1. That is my substitution. That's my substitution. If that's the case, you got to solve for x so you can get your differentials here. Uh, x squared is equal to tangent theta squared x is equal to tangent theta so then the differential of x is equal to secant squared theta d theta okay this completes your your dictionary here and then you go on and you and you substitute your dictionary items into the original integral and that would become integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 which would become tangent squared theta plus 1 dx which would become uh, secant squared theta d theta. That's my dx right here. And then on the bottom, of course, the beautiful thing was that we are able to exchange that for monomial. This would become secant squared theta. And monomials play so much nicer with quotients. Look at this. It becomes uh, child's play now. Let's uh, go ahead and use a different color here. Uh, the x secant squared cancels that one and you're left with uh, just integral of d theta which of course is just theta and then you're done integrating and now it's customary to answer in the same way it was the original question was posed, it was posed with x's it might be polite to answer with x's so you go back to the dictionary here, theta maybe do an arc tangent on both sides, arc tangent of uh, x is equal to theta and so my integral theta is equal to that plus a constant. Okay, uh, here you could just this means that arc tangent of x is equal to theta. Theta is the angle that when you take the tangent of it, you get x. That's what that means. So theta is the arc tangent of x, and then you're done, just like that. Easy. The idea was to identify this as one of the famous um, identities that turn into a monomial. Okay. See us here for another example.